now it's my turn to uh, take over, and then the, our our American and British counterparts can the version two can uh, can take a break. <laughs> and, uh, as um, as the team has been talking about yesterday and today, the objective or I'll say the goal is for us to take this as a Malaysian initiative, so that we as Malaysia can do something for our country's research ecosystem. I think that is the take home, take home message. And, and the American team has been very, very generous with their time, money to come and train us and to show us the way forward. So, um, first of all, it's a very humbling experience to be standing up here uh, amongst all of you to, uh, to give this presentation or to say to lead this workshop. Um, like many of you, I am also a new lecturer at, uh, in, in Malaysia. So I am also learning as I go, um, just like many of you. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you actually does have a lot more experience than I do. So um, in, the, in the spirit of active learning, right, I encourage you to interrupt me. I encourage you to just raise your hand and say, I want to add this, I don't agree with that, I just want to clarify that. So please, you know, feel free to, to just interject and interrupt me, right? So what am I doing here? Um, I'm going to show you or maybe share with you our experience in active learning. But before that, you have seen this slide before. Uh, it was presented yesterday by I think Liz. What was it? Was, was Liz? Um, as you all know, two years ago, um, they came to Malaysia and conducted a similar institute for six days at Kuala Lumpur. And, uh, there were three countries represented as delegates, the Pakistanis, the Indians, and as well as the Malaysians. Uh, it was a six days workshop. Imagine what we've been doing yesterday and today, but stretch it out to six days with a lot more activities, a lot more pedagogical demonstration, with, um, with presentation from delegates. So you actually take what you learned in the first three to four days and then apply it on the fifth and sixth day. So you actually get to have more immersive form of, uh, of training and, and, and learning. So um, fortunately this time around, you know, we only have a day and a half, but I think um, we all can agree that this has been a very wide opening day and a half. As it was for me two years ago, you know, I, I was a very new lecturer, you know, I just started my service a month and then I got called to attend this thing. Right, so I, I, I don't know how to teach, like, you know, you say that we all Scientists, all laboratory, you know, managers. But when it comes to teaching, what do I know, right? But you know, having going through, having gone through this, it really does, you know, change my life. You know, not over dramatic, but it does open up doors. It does teach me how to teach uh, to better lecture. So I hope this will be a springboard for all of us to also to come on, move forward, you know, from today onwards. So just to, you know. It's a very similar type of workshop, so what we do is very similar to what we did last time. Uh, you can see the charts, the drawings, computers, empty bottles of water because we're talking, um, standing up discussion. So it's very similar to what we have been doing yesterday and today. So this is one main thing we all learned yesterday is the set objective. So I have two objectives for um, this session. Number one is to identify opportunities and challenges of implementing RCR programs at your university and institute. So I say that the overall goal of this whole program is to see that one day this kind of RCR program will be implemented at every university in Malaysia. Right? That is our vision for this program. So obviously when we want to do something like that, there will always be challenges and opportunities. So we will be talking about that. And, you know, Malaysians would like to say we talk only, right? But what we want to do is, how can we move forward from just talking, you know? Just four tables, just chit chat, talk, go back to our lab, and just sit in our lab and do work, and so my students do research. But I think, what is important is how do we implement this? Implementation is the key word. Every time there's always something big, but there's no implementation that goes behind it. 
So I hope you know this will also become a springboard for implementation across the government. Again, we'll be talking about that today. So active learning. Um, okay, well, I would like you to talk in your group to think about the kind of opportunities and challenges that you would face if you were to implement RCL program at your department, university, or your institute. So yesterday when we were talking about, I heard some university has some form of responsible conduct workshops, some bioethics seminar here and there. So those are all good opportunities. Those are the foundation that we can build on. So maybe, so I would like you to think about what are the opportunities, the ecosystem which are really there, and what kind of challenges do you think you would face, right, if you were to do this in a larger scale in our universities and institutes, all right? So once you have um, list them down, um, I don't need you to write, maybe you should make you write on a piece of paper. Do you, do you want us to give everybody pieces of yeah, paper? Yeah, okay. so I'll do. give you um, my journal paper, so, group, right? pardon me? Every, right? every group, so every group will talk among your group, and then come up with like, a you know, list of opportunities and list of challenges. And then we'll talk about that uh, after that. So I'll give you um, about 10 to 15 minutes to do that. Yeah.